Hiya, came at Reynolds Inn. We have chicks. We were not planning on having chicks right now. We have just so much bee work going on, but we absolutely love chickens. For those of you who don't know, we've raised several thousands of meat birds over the years, and that's what these are right here. They're the Cornish Rock birds, and they grow very rapidly. Very rapidly. Um, it's They're amazing, but they have significant nutritional requirements. They eat a lot in a short amount of time. This is the first solid food that they've had that wasn't out of the ordinary. Now, what I mean by that is we just did a video, and I'll be releasing that soon, about an electrolyte and probiotic mix. It was given to me with the chicks, and so I never used it before, so I thought I'd use it. Now, when we raised thousands of birds, I think most we ever did in one year was 2,000. We never used anything like that. One of the best foods that we use, and we've already fed them two of them, is boiled eggs. When they, when you get your chicks, really, if you get them through the mail like a lot of times we would, they really don't need food right away. The main thing they need is warmth, they need some water, and then they need some food. But they can go a day or two without food, typically because they still have a lot in their system from the egg. Now, I like to go ahead and get food in there the first day. Birds or any animal that are eating and drinking well, that is just a, a wonderful sign, and you just never want to get into that stressed out period. Also, we need to make sure that we have the right type of feed. Even if you're raising something that is a slower growing chicken, like a laying hen or a more um, slower growing meat bird, you still at this stage need a high protein feed. Don't be feeding them a bunch of scratch and you know cheaper stuff because it, it'll actually end up costing you down the road. Young chicks need a lot of protein. They grow at a phenomenal rate at this age and in order to do that they have to have a lot of protein and mineral content as well. We're going to be showing you different little tricks here and there to help them with their gizzards that are going to help them with their gut. Right now we just have some really generic feed because I was not expecting this to happen but I'm going to be getting some of my custom feed um, that's made up and I really like it because you can still see the bits of grain in there, it has oats, some um, has kelp in there, there's a lot of other um, trace minerals and things that are added that I feel like, um, well I just know that it's in there and it actually smells good. Um, it's it's ground and made in Tennessee, and it just it smells fresh and nice. It's not like a pelletized feed that really kind of smells like sawdust to me. Anyways, I'll get this heat lamp back on. This pen is not going to work for them long term. At the first week, I want to keep the birds at about 95 degrees. After the first week, I'm going to drop that down to a, about 88, 90 degrees, and then of course I mean within a week or so we're gonna have to have another pen what we'll probably do because I don't have anything better set up right now is just get two of these and I think that'll last them and depending on the weather we'll have these birds out in the field no later than four weeks and we might do it as early as three weeks if it's gonna be nice and warm which it's August I imagine we're going to have that weather in cooler conditions you want to wait till four weeks but every week we are incrementally dropping the temperature and I want to have the birds used to room temperature um, by the third week and and then I'm by the time we get to the fourth week I want them going without the heat lamp of a night so they'll have the heat lamp for part of the time and then they'll go without it and so it, it'll get down in the 60s and, and stuff like that and just just let the birds get used to it if, if you're doing this where you're introducing your chicks in really cold weather, which we did a lot, you're going to have to, um, they'll, they'll be all right. I mean, they're already starting to develop feathers, but you'll need to kind of adjust them to weather fluctuations, and they'll do better. But this, this is a good sign they're all eating well. One of the chicks looks a little bit um, sluggish. It's a, this one back in here. It has eaten a little bit. It is drinking. It is kicking at my hands, so it's not all given up but it came that way and you know the problem with bees and chickens and most animals once they start going backwards it can sometimes be really difficult to fix them and that bird's cleaning its beak right there where it was a second ago but anyways we'll be talking more about chicks in the future chicken pens all kinds of different things 
they they wore out those two boiled eggs that we fed them in about two hours. So if you don't have any food immediately or you just want to give them something more natural, if you have your own layers, it's a fantastic feed for chicks. Boiled eggs, especially home-raised eggs, have pretty much everything a chick needs because that's what they were raised in and you can crush up the shells and if you get them fine enough they'll eat some of those and it'll go in their gizzard and a lot of calcium and phosphate in there so we'll be talking more about chicks in the future um, I really don't have time for this but we're making time the kids are loving it and I really do enjoy raising chickens and yes these are destined for the freezer but they're gonna have the best life that we can give them between now and then and the chicken and the quality of the meat is going to, going to be like it's like the difference between honey from the store and honey that we raise ourselves it's not even the same thing thanks for watching this video and if you have any questions on raising chicks at this stage or anything like that leave it below